hello everyone today in this video we'll be discussing the module 4 of uid and there are totally six topics so it's very simple module actually there are a lot of topics but um, you should not care about those topics because those are not asked much in exam these are the topics which are most asked in exam so let's focus on that and get uh, get the things uh, done and there will be no much theory in this um, uh, particular module and just a few key points you need to remember and you can fill it in your own words that's more better and before starting if you like this hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe to my channel your support help me make more videos like this and let's get started so whenever we get done with one of those questions we'll be just ticking mark on that and we'll be moving ahead so let's quickly wind up this module so the first question is what are the different components of a window explain with example so you just have to remember this diagram here just uh, imagine this diagram and you can find out on the 13 components present here start from the top in the top you can find the title bar okay the top one is what title bar after that we have the menu bar after that some working area is there and the last what we have the status bar okay repeat with me at the first you have the title bar menu bar and some working area then we have the status bar inside the uh, title bar we have three things okay how many things we have we have three things the first is the title bar icon this is the title bar itself this is the window sizing buttons okay the x and the minimize and the maximize then we have the menu bar inside the menu bar we have two things this itself is the menu bar and we have the what it uh, what's this button it will just give the help okay help options after that we have something called as split box split box what it will do it will remove this uh, item and it will present as a different window okay that is the uh, split box then we have the scroll bar as usual we have the command area or you can have a search area like this in that you can call it as command area the working area is this one this is the tools present this is the tool area it is a tool bar and this is the size grip if you just hold it and do like this it will become bigger screen and yeah that's all what is there here these are the 13 things you have to write and uh, mention as well as write the theory for each of these okay <clears throat> so that was the first question let's put a tick mark on the first question just have to remember what are the components present and just uh, write a few words regarding each of these fine next what we have is the um, two types of window presentation styles and those two types are overlapping and tiled windows but the name itself you can understand tiled windows means it will be like a tiles like how you have in your floor right in your home tiles are there like that it will be present and overlapping means it will be overlapping in this format okay those are the two styles present and what are the advantages disadvantages it's pretty common sense what are the advantages disadvantages here everything is visible clearly and you can select the op options and here everything is overlapped that's one of the disadvantage but the what is the advantage is that here more the items can be put on the same screen here the limited number of items are there if you close one item the other items will be resizing itself based on the area present and so on but those things are not applicable here so a few of the points which i have written here is the advantages for tile window are easier and better performance whereas the disadvantages are limited screens window size changes when uh, one of the exits happen from the screen and it looks crowded the tile windows overlapping windows may have some space empty also but it is more complex and overlapping and too much crowding consistent size is there less visual crowding and consistent uh, position this both are contradictory terms but it's as it's there in the textbook okay so can't help that was about the second topic which is about overlapping and tile windows one of another type of window is also there which is cascading windows but since that's not as i did not mention about that cascading means what it will be in this format if you open the same window many times it will be in the form of cascade right that is what is called cascading windows okay so let's go and mark the second question don't try to remember much things keep less things in your mind and fill the answer scripts as much as you can third type is uh, what are the window types okay this is not super important question but it's important one okay in the um, types of windows there are seven different types of windows okay these are uh, just the words you need to remember what it means that you have to remember okay rest of the things you can write in your own words what are the first one primary window primary window means what like normal window what you op open like my computer or this pc and a secondary window is like if you go to some of the properties of these things or some just uh, the basic more information like choosing the font and the text and all like if you go to the notepad and you click on format at that time you'll be able to see the font size and all right and that um, sample will be visible here that is the secondary window okay so it uh, helps in alteration of the 
a few things then dialog box this also you know save as if you click at that time the dialog box will appear and this is the property sheet and the property inspector property sheet means it will have the properties uh, editing option for any of the applications property inspector means it will just have a shortcut format of what's the property for example if you want to set the text um, font size font color and the underlined bold and uh, uh, italic that time you'll be having a small icon here right that is what is called property inspector then we have the message box like for example a message can pop up like this and palette window here it's a shortcut for the palette you can choose the icons you want pop-up window will be looking like this it will ask you the options and it will be from where you click like for example just click right click somewhere on the home screen it will give you the options for refresh new window and so on right so those are the uh, different types of windows let's have a tick mark on that Next is the window management schemes. There are totally four window management schemes. What is window management schemes? Window management schemes means managing the window, that scheme, okay. So there are four single document, multiple document, workbook and project. Workbook, project, workbook, just remember Excel. In the Excel, you'll be having a workbook here. Different sheets will be there. Inside each sheet, there will be the rows and columns as well as the values, right? That is the workbook project means what if you open a project in UiPath Studio, if you have taken RPA or else also just normal project, what a project, Android Studio project, fine. In Android Studio project, you'll be having many projects here whatever you click that will open and you can work upon that and if you want to change it anytime you can click on someone else uh, some other project uh, else right that is what is called projects and workbooks what is single document interface single document interface will have this one window here inside that everything will be there this is the main window working this is the sub window okay everything will be there in the one interface multiple document means what multiple independent documents will be uh, visible in the same screen and you can work on that simultaneously so the theory concepts are here you can go through it Let's go to the next one, which is the window operations. Okay, what do you mean by window operations? There are some operations you'll be performing on the windows. That is what is called window operation. Okay, so what are the guidelines to be followed? There are totally nine uh, different things. So let's have a look at each one by one. Active window. For the active window, few steps to make active. That is more important. There should be not many steps to make a window act uh, active. Visually differentiate from other windows. The active window should be visually differentiated from the other windows. For example, if you have two windows open, if you want to know which is the active one, this should be more highlighted right in the top it should be a bit darker and this should be a what bit lighter okay that is the active window guideline and general guidelines can be as follows easy to use minimize number of window operations navigating between windows easy to remember overlapping windows provide powerful commands okay that was about the active window and this is the general guidelines next we have opening a window what are the guidelines iconic uh, representation the representation of the window should be iconic so that you can click or else it can be in the text form as well position should be on the top if it is an active window position secondary window on a specific or a, a relevant uh, space display window when it was accessed sizing the window it should be large enough so that everything is clear if it is too large the other other things can't be put on the same screen so make it an optimal size okay what is the window placement where all things are uh, present and how uh, it is present so that it is easy to navigate view the content less scrolling is needed and to read the content and execute operations okay adjust the necessary information for that the window placement is needed then uh, we have the window separation separation means what if the two backgrounds are there and the foreground is there you have to clear and demarcate from the background of the screen it should be clearly visible what is background what is foreground okay what is the moving of window the user should be able to move the window to a correct position and the shape and by default it should uh, set the window to a such a, a position which is easily accessible and readable okay resizing the window this already i have explained it's about change the size pointer shape content should show the uh, sh content should remain the same even if the size and the uh, uh, shape changes and if it's some information is not needed you can just remove the or the clip the unwanted information remove uh, the useless information and other operations include the maximize minimize restore shuffle keyboard controls and mouseless operations close window by using this also you can follow the good uh, guidelines to make the window operations more efficient okay so last topic is left which is the device based uh, control so different types of devices will be learning and will be learning their characteristics what it means and all just the name is enough you can even uh, <clears throat> by seeing this name already we all know what is these things right so let's have a look at uh, like this one simply trackball means what it will be having a ball type like this and you will be uh, controlling the cursor and all by using this one what is the advantage you can just um, manually just put all, put your hand on it and you can scroll the mouse but the disadvantage is that it is not controllable joystick means what you'll be having a joy and a stick like this and you'll be by using this you'll be playing games and all and what is the disadvantage is that it is uh, if you are 
are using it for a long term it will be fatigue graphic tablet this is the touch screen thing light pen touch screen all these things have something in common which is you can directly uh, write on the screen by using some pen or directly uh, making some changes on the screen but the disadvantage is that it will be uh, covering the screen like for example if you have a tablet here and you have a hand here it will be covering what is written behind this hand right so that's the disadvantage of uh, having the touch screens and all but there's an advantage of that as well it is faster right and uh, there is something you can write in your own words as well next uh, we have voice voice is easy to dictate but it is not uh, more accurate and the disadvantage is that it might not work uh, uh, always mouse and keyboard also you know how, what is the mouse and keyboard and what are the advantages disadvantages all we have faced in our daily life work like uh, some of the operations cannot be performed using the keyboard itself and it needs the uh, need of mouse yeah, along with that and some of the operations which are like typing it cannot be done with mouse it has to be done with keyboard right but for the keyboard like who are experienced with the letters where are present for them it is faster for the new people it is slower like that many advantage disadvantages are uh, there yeah, i have written few of these you can go through it for your exam preparation that's all for this uh, video that's all uh, what is there in the module make sure uh, learn all of these questions very well and hit the like button subscribe to my channel for more videos like this and thank you so much for watching i'll see you in the next one